Well, let's talk a bit more now about that prediction from Moderna's chief over the efficacy of current vaccines against the Omicron variant. Joining me now is Dan Stanner. He's vice president and head of Europe, Middle East, Russia and Africa at Moderna. Well, why is it that uh, your company believes that current vaccines are less effective? Hey, good morning. Uh, no, at the present time, we do not know. We don't have the certitude or the guarantee that current vaccines work. And we started our strategy against the variants of concern, such as Omicron, in earlier this year. And as we speak, we're testing the existing vaccine, the 5D micrograms booster, against the Omicron. Our strategy against these variants of concern has three levels of defense. The first one, should the existing vaccine not be sufficiently effective against these variants of concern, we have already started tested, testing the increased dose of 100 micrograms against the variant of concern. That's level number one. Level two, we have started earlier this year to develop multivalent vaccines, which include combination of multiple mRNA sequence against variants of concerns and against what we believe are the most concerning mutations, which could either affect transmissibility or affect or reduce immunity. That's the second level. And the third level, we are planning to start, hopefully once we'll better understand in the coming weeks, the Omicron variant, uh, an independent vaccine in just covering the Omicron virus. Uh, considering what we know and what we don't know, would you say that it's dangerous to shift our focus to dealing with this new threat, or this new variant, as you say, the WHO has only expressed the, the, the concern that it is a, a high risk potential, but does this mean that we need to change and not sort of pay so much attention to the Delta variant? No, not at all. What I hear, I read really like you, and obviously you have all our research and development teams which have been working on that for years now. So uh, for sure, the variant is concerning. It has more than 30 mutations, you know, some of them being, as I said earlier on, concerning covering, you know, uh, immunity or reduced immunity or current or potentially covering, you know, transmissibility. What I can say is that at present time, the best defense against the Omicron variant is to speed up the booster vaccination, which has as objective to increase immunity of the people, either natural immunity or immunity provided by the vaccination campaigns prior. And some people might be surprised by uh, your CEO's comments that it might take several months to produce a specific jab in order to deal with this new threat. Well, I think that two things. First of all, the Moderna technology, the mRNA technology is providing flexibility. The processes are the same and we're able to convert our manufacturing plant and to be able to produce, you know, the existing vaccine or the future one. The challenge is obviously that, you know, we need to understand better the variant. And as we said, Moderna has started a couple of months ago already at the beginning of the year to start planning for the next variant of concern. The three level of defense that I've been talking earlier on, if it shows that the existing vaccine, 50 micrograms, might lack a little bit of efficacy, we're trying as we speak and we're testing, you know, the 100 micrograms. We double the dose and we see how does that work. 